Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Okay. Today we will discuss mycelismant in enzyme kinetics. Our first aim will be to derive an expression and second one we will do understanding the nature of graphs. And we will also some take up some special cases followed by the previous year question discussion. I hope you will enjoy it. Before going to derivation, let me first introduce to you what are enzymes. Okay. Enzymes are biocatalyst, homogeneous biocatalyst. What is homogeneous? The reactants and the products, uh, sorry, the reactant and the catalyst are in same phase. Let's say the reactant is in solid state, then the catal will, catalyst will also be in solid state. Okay. Now, they contain, the enzyme contain an active site where the substrate binds and convert the substrate to product. Now, the active site come back to original state after product being released. Fourth one, enzymes. What are enzymes? Enzymes, enzymes are proteins or can be proteins. Exception, exception to this. Ribozyme is a... Uh, catalyst which is not a protein ribozyme is an rna molecule now some enzyme need cofactors like metals okay for their proper functioning example is zinc zinc is a cofactor of alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme okay we will discuss this when we uh, when we introduce bioinorganic chemistry in detail okay now, enzyme substrate interaction in the active site can be through uh, hydrogen bonding, electrostatic interactions, or Van der Waal interactions, Van der Waal forces. Now, there are two main mechanisms for uh, en enzyme substrate binding. Okay, the first one is lock and key model, or uh, two main models are proposed. What does that mean? The, uh, if there is an enzyme, it will, it has an uh, active site and it will directly bind to, it will directly bind to that active site. Suppose this is, this is the substrate. Okay. Now I have an enzyme like this. This is the active site. This can, this can directly bind to this portion. Okay. So there is no need of conformational changes for this to bind here. Okay. That means it will be like it will be like this after binding. This is enzyme and this is sub uh, sorry, this is substrate and this is enzyme. Now there are some other substrates. Sorry, some other enzymes where the active site won't be in a regular way okay let's say the active site is little bit different in such cases what will happen a substrate first bind to this position okay active site and there will be some conformational changes which which will make the substrate bind properly properly in the active site such model is called induced fit model induced fit model okay this is lock and key first one lock and key now, now let us start the derivation okay see here E is enzyme S is substrate K1, K inverse. This is right constant of forward reaction and K inverse is the right constant of backward reaction. Yes means substrate com substrate enzyme substrate complex. K2 is the right constant for this uh, this step. P is product. Okay. Generally the concentration of enzyme is very low. Implies this implies that the enzyme substrate uh, concentration 
is also very low compared to that of compared to that of the concentration of substrate okay now let us write the derivation okay you can see that this step is the second step is the rds rds means rate determining step so as per we know that the rate determining the rate of a reaction will depend upon solely on the uh, step this step means second step rds so dp by dt is equal to k2 into es now this is the first equation so we have to now our next aim is to find an expression to es what is an equation to es how that that is by steady state approximation remember i have discussed steady state approximation when i in my first video that is lindemann can when i have discussed lindemann unimolecular kinetics if you follow that perfectly it will it is not a great task it is very easy that you can apply here okay now let us move on so so the formation of uh, what is steady state approximation the concentration of an intermediate that is es is constant or time now formation that means formation of es is equal to decomposition of es and then substrate complex now in uh, now let us write formation formation that is formation is k1 into e into s k1 into e into yes now rate of formation is equal to rate of decomposition now what are the ways in which it it can decompose k inverse into es plus k2 into es okay now we can write es is equal to k1 e into s divided by k inverse plus k2 okay this is our equation 2 but there is one problem okay we cannot we cannot find the concentration of es or we cannot find the concentration of e okay that means it is very difficult to find this so we have to substitute for e by whatever uh, substrate we can measure now see if e0 is the initial enzyme concentration so we can write e0 equal to e plus es total this is the total or initial enzyme concentration so some of this will uh, bind to substrate to form enzyme substrate complex and this is the remaining one okay so e equal to e0 minus es use this equation use this equation 3 in 2 3 in 2 implies okay you you should write this along with me okay k1 into e0 yes here also yes. whole bracket into yes divided by k inverse plus k2 equal to es okay now cross multiply k1 
k1 e0 into s minus k1 es into s by k inverse plus k2 into es cross multiply okay i have not done yes so k1 e0 into s minus k is equal to k inverse plus k2 into es okay so taking for therefore we have to find an expression for es so k1 e naught into s divided by k1 e naught into s divided by k inverse plus k2 plus plus k1 into s okay you just rearrange to get the equation of es okay this is our fourth equation we will substitute this equation in the first equation okay we have to find the expression for es or the equation for es by steady state approximation then we will put in the uh, overall right expression so dp by dt is equal to k1 uh, so k2 into es es is this one so e, i will write k1 e0 into s divided by k inverse plus k2 plus k1 into s so i will take this k1 okay this k1 into into the denominator basic mathematics okay so that is k2 into e0 into s k2 into e0 into s into s by k inverse k inverse plus k2 plus k2 plus s divided by k1 okay this k1 and k1 will be cancelled this k1 divided by k1 okay simple mathematics now here we have to define km km is michaelis menon constant that is k inverse plus k2 divided by k1 this is called michaelis menon michaelis menon constant okay ah i know it is a little bit wrong long so we have reached here michaelis menon constant okay michaelis menon constant now let me take a new page i'll write this expression here okay dp by dt is equal to k2 into e0 into s divided by km plus s okay this is our equation see this is right so right is also called velocity sometimes okay velocity okay now let me define v max what is v max see if you have when all enzymes are reacted when all enzymes are reacted that means e0 is equal to es when all enzymes are reacted so at this point of time the velocity will be maximum velocity will be maximum okay so so this is the condition 
now we know right right dp by dt is equal to k2 into es okay so at this point of time when all enzymes are reacted so es is equal to e0 implies k2 is equal to e0 okay now look, uh, look at this above equation okay look at the above equation we have k2 into e0 that means this is nothing but vmax okay so we the or uh, that means velocity v or rate dp by dt everything is same okay is equal to k2 into e0 i can write as v max what v max v max into s plus km plus s okay so this is the michaelis menten equation or our star equation he is the real hero or he is the this is the real equation okay michaelis menten equation this is the michaelis menten equation michaelis menten equation i will just write show like this okay now we we will show some cases so for the first case a when km is very very greater than yes remember in the denominator okay so when, so that means km is very very high so km plus s yes will be what will happen to the denominator in this case km plus uh, s yes will be km only approximately equal to km that is the perfect notation now so what will happen v is equal to v max into s divided by km since v max is also constant and km is also a constant we can write v equal to some constant k okay some arbitrary constant k dash into s that means when this condition occurs or when the substrate concentration is low substrate concentration is low this follows a first order kinetics see the substrate concentration is low this follows a first order kinetic okay right is first order with respect to oh, yes see this is what that is right or v directly proportional to yes first order now case 2 what is case 2 when case 2 is uh, when let me turn a paper and this okay this key so km very very less than yes that means substrate concentration is very high so what will happen to denominator denominator km plus s approximately is equal to s so this km is very small value so if we put that v in our michaelis menten star equation v max into s divided by s is equal to v max is equal to a constant so at high concentration at high concentration this binding is in at high substrate concentration the binding is independent of binding is independent of the substrate concentration okay the right is independent right right is independent of independent i will short it of substrate concentration okay that okay this is the second case or case b now the la let me turn the paper a bit okay the last case that is when km that is michaelis menten constant is equal to s this is our last case what will happen here 
what will happen here we have the equation v equal to v max into s divided by km plus s so we when the when we put this here v max plus in the denominator what will have km sorry 2s k and that is s 2 into s okay i can write substitute s yes for s yes for km so say s and s will cancel v max by 2 okay so what is km here we can define km is the substrate concentration when the velocity is v max by 2 okay when the velocity is v max by 2 discuss all the cases three cases now let us discuss the graph okay the first one see the graph is being plotted between rate versus the substrate concentration now the maximum velocity is here see the first it increases the rate increases linearly then reaches a saturation okay now see uh, in the f here for as i discussed when the substrate concentration is low it will be first order and here here it will be zero order okay what is the si physical significance or why the order is changing that is the key question here so what happens is as i said in the initial introduction enzyme has some active sites okay so when the substrate concentration is very low the probability of this active site being uh, occupied is very low that means it will directly uh, means only some active sites are occupied okay so the reaction will depend upon the substrate concentration or the rate will depend upon the rate of the reaction will depend upon the substrate con concentration now when the substrate concentration is too high all the active sites are occupied that means uh, the active sites are being saturated and there, therefore no further reaction is possible or the so even if we uh, increase the substrate concentration then it virtually will not give any effect on the rate of the reaction that me uh, that is why there is a change in uh, the order when we increase the substrate concentration i hope this is clear now let me define two more things which is turnover number turnover number is the number of molecules converted to products in unit time this is equal to numerically equal to k2 is equal to v max by e0 this is nothing but uh, you know v max equation is k2 into e0 so from there we can write now there is one more term which is called catalytic efficiency here uh, which is k cat k catalyst by km k cat is k2 by km now there is one more uh, this is the michaelis mendel equation now there is one more uh, plot which is called line waver bar plot which is very important okay this is very important with respect to our uh, csir net exam questions see this is our michaelis mendel equation if we invert this taking reciprocal 1 by v here 1 by v is equal to now km by v max into s plus uh, s into uh, s in s by s into v max okay this s and s will cancel we'll get a we will get a equation like this this is in the form y equal to y equal to c plus mx where c is intercept and m a m is slope and x is um, x is in the x axis see this is x axis 1 by s and this is 1 by v this is y and our intercept is c and slope is m so from this equation uh, that comparing this equation with this we will get slope is equal to 
km into 1 by v max that is intercept is equal to intercept c is equal to 1 by v max now slope by intercept see let me okay let's page is little bit problem okay let me fold it okay now the slope by intercept will give you the michael is maintained constant i hope this is clear this line wave bar plot is also called double reciprocal relation okay sometimes they can ask double reciprocal relation okay don't confuse with that so many numericals has been asked on this plot which is very important in csir point of view i hope this is clear now by this we have completed all the theory required for the problem solving so now the video is quite long i won't discuss all the questions right here i have around 8 questions preferably previous year questions so it is not preferable to discuss here since it is too big i will upload a new video which is entirely devoted for the question answer discussion okay kindly watch that video and thank you for watching if you have any doubts and clarification if you need any doubts and clarification please use the comment box below okay thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel and tell your friends if you like it tell and share with your friends thank you